<clears throat> and this is Hitler again. So I've realized that I've been walking all this time in the dimensions with my past in my head, trying to redeem myself, trying to forgive myself. Still, while I was doing that, holding on to the past me as Adolf Hitler of Earth. And only today, for the first moment, have I realized that I've been creating my own experience of myself. That I've been holding on to past knowledge and information instead of giving myself the opportunity to just stop it and <laughs> discover me of innocence as who I am through self-forgiveness. I've applied self-forgiveness extensively, but it's all worthless if your starting point is not of innocence. If you're doing it from a point of knowledge, you have a problem, because in your self-forgiveness is a knowledge, not as an expression of you. So what does it mean, the return to innocence? The return to innocence is when you stop all knowledge, all knowledge, past, present, future, memories, thoughts, emotions, feelings, degrees, schooling, universities, all knowledge and information of this world, you drop, you stop, you stop everything. Because only then you will know, <laughs> you will experience innocence as you, as I have. But at the moment, it, for me, it's still a realization. I'm still required to now place it into application as an expression of me as who I am. With that, I'm certain I'm doing, because I've done it before. Um, I've fell many times in this process. I'm not a perfect being, but yet we are the absolute perfection of the nature of who we are as life within and as one as an equality. So yes, I'm sad. I'm very sad because after so many years, you know, you have this one moment where you go, Hitler. You've been doing it yourself. You know, that you've literally been holding on to past knowledge and information about yourself, about what you did, instead of just letting it go and giving yourself the opportunity to experience yourself as innocence. Remember there is said, only the children go to heaven. Children are innocent. Children don't have knowledge. When they play, they play as the expression of themselves. Look at children when they're really young. They're the most beautiful expressions in this world. Magnificent. And then human beings come and pump knowledge and information in the minds of the innocent. To become the slaves of, of their own knowledge and information. Who, who is really then creating this world, human beings? We are. Through our children, through the children. Well, if there's one thing I'm certain of, is that I'm making this world a place for children as innocents to express themselves to them. Because for anyone to have gone through what I've gone through, and you have only, only shared the real tip of the iceberg, it's not necessary. This has to stop. How many years have I now walked me out of Hitler before realizing my own innocence? It's tough. And I'm still not done yet. I've only gotten to the realization now. Now it's the expression in application. That is me. That I'm able to prove it to myself. To not transform it into knowledge again. So human beings, children are innocent. Those who grow up are of knowledge, are enslaved, are not innocent. If you have knowledge and information, you are a slave. You are not innocent. So the return to innocence is if you give up and let go the knowledge and information you have of yourself and of this world. The same goes for me. And this is my message to those who still have an opinion about me, about what I had done 
if you still have an opinion or a judgment over me, holding on to the knowledge of the past you have of me, you're actually stating that you cannot let go of your own knowledge and information of yourself and therefore you're actually judging yourself, that you're not able to return to innocence. I have been able to. I have done it. I'm here in innocence communicating with you as innocence because it's me. It's who I am. It's letting go of the past in one moment. So that's what fear of death actually is, human beings. You fear letting go of and releasing your knowledge and information you have of yourself and of this world. That's what fear of death is. In innocence, there is no fear of death. There is no fear of anything. What is fear? Fear is also knowledge. So this is my sharing. This is Adolf Hitler of the return to innocence, my return to innocence after so many years. And if I am able to do it, so can you. And thus there is no excuse for any human being of this world possible. No excuse. I'm proof of that. Thank you very much. This is Adolf Hitler.